Hey everybody, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. I am in beautiful Skinny Atlas, New York at their annual library book sale. This is a great place to get a large amount of books for a very cheap price. You can fill up an entire uh, big paper bag for $5. So it opens in just a second. So I've got to get over there, get the bag, go inside. I'll take you in there and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have my bag in hand and this is the sale and it's broken into all different areas and so we are going to get as much as we can cram into here for five dollars and then um, maybe get some more so i like to start off by going towards the back and going into the kids area and seeing what type of stuff i could get there so let's check that out so this is why i like to go through the kids book area uh, in addition to finding you know something like this which i have a whole bunch of these at home which are these uh uh, you know, 1969, uh, you know, pocket comic books. This one's uh, Marmaduke, in addition to a bunch of Archie digests that I have at home. Really, the more exciting thing would be something like this, which easily gets passed up. And you really need to know your Roman numerals, but you can tell from feeling this how vintage it is. They come in a little set here. Uh, they're introducing uh, children to people in different parts of the world. So Siam, uh, Norway, and Mexico. And you could just tell from the art that it's vintage, the feel that it's vintage. Um, and also if you open it up and you know your Roman numerals, uh, you will see here that this is 1936. So, uh, you know, I don't even have to look up comps on something like that to know that that is gonna go for a pretty penny on eBay. So definitely gonna pick these up and just throw them in here, throw them in this bag. Now I generally do really well with the vintage uh, kids books and so this is from 1971 and you know you're looking for themes that are popular and ships certainly are a lot of people are into nautical types of things so you know just open it up just look at it make sure there's no uh, writing or rip pages or anything like that or major unsightly creases. I'm glad I brought this external microphone because there's no way you would have been able to hear me. So let me know, by the way, if this is working out okay. This is the sound with my external mic. There's the bag. Still got a ways to go. Now let me show you why you got to check these books out. Because you open it up and look what we have inside. It looks like my niece colored inside of it. Did you color inside of that? No? All right. Little Miss Primetime just came over with this one. Check these out. These are good. These are these uh, shorter pocket size books. Uh, sometimes they're hardcover, sometimes they're softcover. They're illustrated inside. They're very popular. You buy them to sell them in big lots. So I have a bunch of these at home. Uh, you know, I just get them for real cheap like this. Then I lot them together and sell them for a good profit and ship out media mount. So uh, just be on the lookout for these. See, this kid's picture book area is an area that a lot of people are going to pass up on, think that it's worthless junk, and uh, that's to their detriment. That's a mistake. This book right here that I found that I picked up right over here, uh, it's an old uh, golden book, My Head to Toe. Um, right now, it's going for, uh, people are asking between $15, $20. There's only two of them online that has watchers. There's no recent comps for it, but uh, it should sell for you know somewhere between that 15 20 dollar range so definitely going to pick this up especially just for a few cents okay be on the lookout for these these are the um, educator classic series this is number one treasure island on the back you'll see it says educator classic don't pick them up if they're just individual issues like this and this is only one um, but if you could find a complete set of uh, 12 of them you're looking at around a little over $50 for them I did find a complete set of these last year at a garage sale I got them for 10 bucks so you know if you could do that it's totally worth it so be on the lookout for the complete set of these okay I'm out of the kids section and into the adult section and here's something you just don't see every day I got to pick this up there's no comps on it it's Playboy and there's nothing nude in it it's it's actually a novel and it's written in German and it's from 1979 uh, so definitely very cool gonna pick this up and be interested to see how this does on eBay Paris is always popular so to pick this one up for just a few cents is worth it this will just go in the bag and one of these sold recently for 30 cheapest available online right now is 45 so another good pickup 
sure to also invest in yourself when you're out at these sales. So if you see these books on antiques that you could use as references, like for American glass or American antiques or you know guide to antiques, hidden treasures, that type of stuff, I could take all these, still toss them in the bag. I have plenty of room and I could use it for reference if I come across things and I need to do a little bit of research on it. So uh, you, know, you could find those in the uh, hobby section. So uh, just be sure to check those out. This is definitely a type of book that you should have on hand, which is this Dictionary of Marks of Pottery and Porcelain. I already have one at home, but I just wanted to point it out to you. You are gonna come across all sorts of marks, and this will really help you identify them very well. Uh, absolutely, I think, an essential book that you should have if you're definitely gonna be selling this type of stuff. It's, you, know, you can just see, it's just a great, great resource. I just stopped by the grocery store and uh, just to get a snack. How do I not pick this up? This is, hope it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, so this is everything we wound up getting. It uh, winds up being $15 uh, total for three bags of books. That's pretty darn good considering how many books are in here. I uh, didn't show you all of them. I just kind of showed you a snapshot of uh, a few of them just to give you a couple of ideas in terms of the things that I look for. It just take too long to go through every book. Um, you know, just keep in mind that this was the last day of a three-day book sale. The last day is the day that they have the bag sale where you get to fill it all up for $5. And uh, prior to that, if I would have went yesterday or the day before, all these books would have been, um, you know, much more expensive. I mean, it would have been, you know, a fortune to, you know, to get all these books that are in here compared to what I got them for. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. Remember, don't forget to invest in yourself sometimes when you see a book that, uh, or a series of books that you feel um, you know, could really help you out in your in your business. Pick those up too. Don't always look straight up to resell. Look for supplies. Uh, you know, at other sales. And uh, you know, again, like here for book sales. You know, look for uh, look for things that could help you out as references. All right, everybody. Well, that's a wrap for today. Today was really all about books. There was a lot of stuff, as you saw from the trunk, that we were able to pull out of there. Uh, did really, really well overall. Um, Mrs. Primetime, my wife, is doing a great job in terms of uh, helping me source. So she was there as well, and we were dividing and conquering. Uh, she wound up getting a ton of stuff, and uh, you know we're just going through it all now and processing it. Like for example, you know this book alone is really a like a booklet. Uh, it's an opera booklet from 1930. This one alone, or one that was just like it, because we actually have a whole stack of them that she was able to uh, to find. I'll show you right here. There's a whole stack of them. She looked one of them up. One of them sold for um, $15 recently. And these go back to the 1930s. So I could either try to piece them out individually or uh, sell them together. So, you know, just this one alone, you know, let's say this is a $15 item, you know, pretty much is gonna pay for all of those books that we wound up uh, purchasing. You know, there's some other things, you know, she she tends to look at, uh, you know, some of the artsy stuff and the things that I might not pay more attention to. Uh, you know, things like this, like these booklets about lettering and things, you know, these could go for either maybe $10 a piece or $10 each or something like that. You could lot them together maybe for 15, but, you know, these things, they just start adding up and adding up and adding up and, you know, building up profit. So uh, that's what we're pretty much doing right now. Um, you know, it just goes to show you, too, there's ways in which you could still source. I did a whole separate video on this when you have company over. Uh, I had my brother over this weekend and my two nieces. We still had a great time, spent a lot of good time together. Um, but, you know, yesterday I went out in the morning you know, while they were still sleeping and did that uh, big uh, comic book uh, haul. So I got two comic collections in the morning and you know, came back, you know, still in time for bacon and eggs, like I mentioned. And uh, today uh, we made a little trip out to Skinny Atlas all together and, you know, they wound up getting some books and, you know, they didn't obviously get as much as we did. Uh, but then we just, you know, went out afterwards for lunch and had a good time and, uh, you know, said goodbye. So, there's still ways that you can, um, you know, be creative and source when um, when you do have company over, or even when you're going out for company. You know, when I go out, um, you know, and, and travel, um, I will be taking my camera with me and my phone with me, and if I could do any sourcing there, 
uh, I'll turn it on and uh, we'll do some things outside of the New York area sometimes in the near future. Also, I got to try a new uh, bag of potato chips, as you can see here. And uh, I'm going to hang on to this. This is a cool little souvenir for the day. And uh, they were very good. If you like hot and spicy chips, this is really not a product uh, placement or anything like that. I just happened to stumble upon it. They are very, very good. So uh, I would recommend it. And um, like I said, that's going to be a wrap for today. So if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you come and subscribe to the channel. The subscription is real important because we are very, very close to 600. The last time I checked, it was at like around 590. So we're almost there. We just reached today an important milestone. One thousand members now we're actually well over that but 1000 members today in the facebook reselling resource center that's the facebook group that i run definitely come by and check that out for all sorts of other awesome great tips from not just myself but from other people uh in the group it's a great close-knit community fun friends family is really the theme of it so i hope you come by it's very positive a uh, great place to be. And lastly, of course, if you have any comments or questions, make sure you drop those down below. I hope that the external microphone uh, worked out okay. Uh, trust me, if I did not have that on, you would not have heard a single thing that I said. It might not be the best, but um, you know, I did the best that I could with the external mic today because it was really, really loud in there. So uh, hopefully um, it wasn't too bad in terms of the audio today. All right, I'll see everyone at the next video. Take care.